What's good, everybody? It's your boy Chris, Mr. 540 TV, 540 Gang, Gang in the building. Look, I'm back with a new method on how I talk about do rag. I forgot who came up with this method. I saw it on WRL or Elite Spins. It was one or the other. Um, but once I find out, I will include his name in the description that this is his method. Um, this method is great. Um, I know you're tired of getting do rag lines in your forehead and on your taper area and on the back of your hair. So this method will definitely help to stop and prevent and avoid getting that do rag line, all right? I'll be back in a minute, right after the intro. Peace. What's good, everybody know what it is. I'm in London. I mean, there's just more questions you have to ask me. Still 10 toes down the road, Melissa. He ran out on the nigga that's a shot, a shot, a cold hearted nigga with the block, a block out. Gotta keep it on me, I wanna die young. I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. I'ma go post bail, just look at my wrist. Tell me why the legends always gotta die quick. When I'm in traffic, gotta slide with the beam on me. Cause I keep my 10 racks busting out the jeans. All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna go ahead and rag up as if I'm done with my session for today. Um, tonight actually, cause it's night. So I'm ragging up as, you know, hey, I'm about to go to bed. All right, so always put your do-rag on, always before you go to bed. Uh, I'm gonna double compress as I usually do. So I'm gonna put the do-rag on. I'm gonna try to get as much good angle as possible. Um, so you can really get a good understanding. So let's go ahead and double compress. Got the boo-boo cap. All right, so I always pull the do rag past my my eyes. So you know, want to fold it up. All right, make sure these sides are pretty um, straight too. This is gonna help out at the end. All right, so I'm just gonna prep, prep this right here. I'm gonna keep the strap uh, flat, but you're gonna see where I tuck it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Keep it flat, wrap it around, tuck it from the top. I'm pulling the two to get some kind of compression there, some hold. All right, see I just tuck that in. I wrap it around, all the way around flat and tuck it in at the top here. So now, I mean, even the durag is holding right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this other side, this other string actually. All right, so it's on this side. We're gonna pull it out from under that flap, strap actually. We're gonna do the same thing, go all the way around. All the way back around the other way. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'll take it and just tuck. Pull your do rag right down. There we go.
so that's the no knot method with the double compression very simple all i did was with the double compression i pulled the durette down past my eyes put on my google cap or whatever cap you're going to use um pull the flap up make sure they're straight we um, take it around the back right so then we're going to take it around the back hold one part in our mouth one strap with that other strap make sure it's flat going all the way around and when you get to the side where's that's going to be going this way get the side tuck it in from the top right so then we're going to grab the other strap we're going to pull it out so to make sure that you know if it's the strap is on this side then it need to be on this side it don't need to be like on this side so take it out flatten it out go all the way around the head the same way like so and come right back on top again and so before you do that on the second time you can kind of pull it some to kind of get this uh, you know tighten up you can tighten up as much as you want to you know that's how much you know I wouldn't uh, suggest tightening up a lot because you probably get a headache uh, as I do sometimes and I just unloose it um, but um, bring it around tuck it and that's just it it's simple um I think this is a great method um, I've been tying my do rags. Always have this flat, but I always have that knot in the back, and so the straps are kind of getting smaller as they get to that knot, and that always causes um, hair growth issues. Where um, I had a lot of hair here, but that little line was like bald, kind of. You know, and it's hard to get it out unless you with a hard brush or comb, but the hair doesn't grow well there. Usually people um, get tapers up to that area, you know, so they kind of throw off the fact that hair's not growing there. But, you know, I wish I would have known this method a long time ago. This would have really helped me out a long time ago because, you know, my hair is kind of, it ain't thin and out, but, you know, you know, how, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. But thank y'all for watching the video, man. I hope y'all like the video. Hope this was very um, informative to you. If you know who came up with this method, I, I don't want to throw a name out just yet because I think it is him. But if you know who came up with this method, put it down in the description. Again, um, I learned it and I found it from WRL or Elite Spins. But I think the guys on both of them that I'm thinking about. Um, but again, thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Um, I haven't done a video in a minute, so I am back with one. I'm going to try to keep them coming. Um, I did a self-cut a few minutes ago, so, you know, this is my final product. Y'all saw my hair at the beginning when I didn't have a do rag on. So, I do got a video with a self-cut, so make sure you go through my videos. I got a lot of different videos, so, but you'll see more majority of my hair videos. I'm going to try to categorize them for y'all so it'll make it easier. But, I'm out, man. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you get all notifications every time your boy uploads, all right? Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for subscribing who've already subscribed. Um, you know, uh, we started low. Now we're about four or something. You know, I'm happy. You know, keep subscribing. Keep helping me out to try to build my YouTube channel up a little more. I'm going to have a little more stuff going on, you know, some something that address a different audience. You know, I don't want to just stay one waving. So I'm gonna try to do something different, alright? I'm out y'all. Peace.